secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta secant can be written as 1 by cos or cos can be written as 1 by secant you should know reciprocals tan inverse x can be written as cot inverse 1 by x when sin inverse crosses equal to it will become sin sin inverse of minus x minus sin inverse x so sin inverse of sin theta becomes theta sin inverse of sin pi by 3 is just pi by 3 i'll be teaching you reducing the problem to simplest form Welcome to the session dear students. In my last class I taught you inverse trigonometric function basics that is domain range. I also asked you people to memorize domain and range of six inverse trigonometric functions that is sin inverse x, cos inverse, tan inverse, secant, cosecant and cot. And today we are going to learn reciprocal relations and also I will be teaching you problems based on domain and range reciprocals all of you know reciprocal of sin theta reciprocal of sin theta is what cosecant theta so sin theta can be written as 1 by cosecant theta or cosecant theta can be written as 1 by sin theta and reciprocal of cos what is reciprocal of cos theta 1 by secant theta secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta secant can be written as 1 by cos or cos can be written as 1 by secant and what is the reciprocal of tan cot cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta and vice versa tan theta can be written as 1 by cot so for sin reciprocal is cosecant for cos reciprocal is secant for cot reciprocal is tan so now we need to prove sin inverse x is equal to cosecant inverse 1 by x where x not equal to 0 one by one we will go ahead later we need to prove cos inverse x is equal to secant inverse 1 by x where x is not 0 and tan inverse x you need to prove cot inverse 1 by x where x is greater than 0 so these are the domains of the x they give and they want you to prove this so let us start with the first one so prove that what they give prove that sin inverse x you need to prove it as what cosecant inverse 1 over x and they told x is not 0 this is what is given condition now we will prove this proof is simple you should know reciprocals what is the reciprocal of sin theta cosecant theta so now what is the reciprocal of cos theta secant theta reciprocal of cot theta tan theta now any one trigonometric function out of these two inverse trigonometric any one you take it as theta you can take RHS or LHS we will start from LHS so let us assume let theta is equal to sin inverse x call it as equation 1 and bring sin inverse to the other side all of you know when sin inverse crosses equal to it will become sin so sin theta is equal to what x further you can write take reciprocal on both sides I'll take reciprocal on both sides if you take reciprocal on both sides LHS becomes 1 by sin theta and RHS becomes 1 by x so now all of you know what is 1 by sin theta 1 by sin theta is equal to 1 by x we got do you agree so what is the value of 1 by sin theta you know 1 by sin is also called as what cosecant reciprocal of sin what is reciprocal of sin cosecant so in mathematics sin and cosecant are reciprocals so 1 by sin theta value is cosecant theta in spite of 1 by sin theta i'll write cosecant theta that implies this implies cosecant theta is 1 by x and we need theta transfer theta to the sorry transfer cosecant to rhs so now theta is equal to cosecant inverse 1 by x call it as equation 2 observe 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 lhs is same this is also theta this is also theta so theta is equal to we got sin inverse x here we got theta is equal to cosecant inverse x so from equation 1 and 2 i can conclude from 1 and 2 sin inverse x can be written as cosecant inverse 1 by x 
So here after, whenever cosecant inverse 1 by x is there, you can take sin inverse x. Simple. Internally, you have to take reciprocal. So, for example, if I have cosecant inverse 2, it can be written as sin inverse 1 by 2 and vice versa. If I have sin inverse 1 by 2, I can write cosecant inverse 2. So, we proved this. To prove, we need the basic, what is the basic reciprocal of sin? What is reciprocal of sin? Cosecant. First, any one function you take it as theta. I took theta as LHS sin inverse x. Transfer sin inverse to the other side. It will become sin theta. Sin theta is equal to x. Take reciprocal on both sides. So, 1 by sin theta becomes 1 by x. You know the value of 1 by sin. What is 1 by sin? Cosecant theta. Transfer theta, cosecant to the other side. So, theta becomes cosecant inverse 1 by x. Call it as equation 2. From 1 and 2, LHS is same. Here also theta. Here also theta. So, from 1 and 2, LHS is same. Equate RHS. You will get the proof. Hence the proof. Hence the proof. Now, further, we can also prove the second part. Here now, I proved this. Similarly, you can prove cos inverse x is equal to secant inverse 1 by x, tan inverse x equal to cot inverse 1 by x. How to prove? So, take what? Second one. Let theta is equal to what? Cos inverse x transfer cos inverse to cos to this side so cos theta becomes x take reciprocal so 1 by cos theta becomes 1 by cos theta becomes 1 by x but you know 1 by cos theta is called as secant theta secant theta is what 1 by x transfer you will get theta what is theta secant inverse 1 by x so call it as equation 2 this is equation 1 from 1 and 2 what is the conclusion from 1 and 2 we can say cos inverse x is equal to secant inverse 1 by x. Similarly, you can prove tan inverse x is equal to cot inverse 1 by x. And not only proving these three, you have to memorize the results. So, sin inverse x can be written as cosecant inverse 1 by x. Or cosecant inverse x can be written as sin inverse 1 by x. Tan inverse x can be written as cot inverse 1 by x. Or cot inverse x can be written as tan inverse 1 by x. And sorry, secant inverse x can be written as cos inverse 1 by x. So, all the results will make use. Now, suppose if I give cot inverse root 3, you can also write it as what? Tan inverse, take reciprocal of the internal term, that's it. So, these are the three results and vice versa. Now, we will go ahead with some more important results. Sin inverse of sin theta becomes theta if theta lies between minus 90 to plus 90. All of you know this minus 90 to plus 90 is the range of sin inverse x. So, you have learned the table of range and domain. That is what I asked you. First session, I asked you people to become thorough with the table of range and domain. If you are thorough with the table of range and domain, then what is the range of sin inverse x? For sin inverse x, range or principal value is minus 90 to what? Plus 90. So, sin inverse of sin theta becomes theta means in sin, whenever they give sin inverse of sin theta you can just write theta if theta lies between minus 90 and plus 90. For example, if I give sin inverse of sin 45 degrees pi by 4, this is pi by 4. Why? Because sin inverse of sin theta becomes theta because theta pi by 4, pi by 4 is between minus 90 and plus 90. Suppose if I give sin inverse of sin 80 degrees, answer is what? 80. Why? Because 80 degrees lies between 90 degree and minus 90. Because pi by 2 means what? 90. Minus pi by 2 minus 90. Suppose if I give sin inverse of sin 100, sin 100, this is not 100. Because here the value 100 degrees, 100 degrees is more than 90. Sin inverse of sin theta becomes theta if and only if theta lies between minus 90 and plus 90. And cos inverse of cos theta becomes theta if theta lies between 0 and pi. So, again, domain and range. What is range of cos inverse x? In the table you have learned cos inverse x range is 0 to pi. That is why cos inverse closed interval and cos inverse of cos theta becomes theta if theta lies between 0 and pi. If theta value is between 0 and pi, cos inverse of cos theta is theta. Tan inverse of tan theta becomes theta if theta lies between minus 90 and plus 90, but it should not be equal to minus 90, it should not be equal to plus 90, strictly less than we have written. So, these three results, standard results, if you remember, sin inverse of sin theta becomes 
theta. When theta is between minus 90 and plus 90, cos inverse of cos theta becomes theta. If theta is between 0 and pi, 0 and 180, then tan inverse of tan theta becomes theta. If theta lies between minus 90 and plus 90, that is theta should be strictly greater than minus 90 and strictly less than plus 90. Here, less than or equal to. Got it? So, please memorize this. Now, we will go ahead with the problems. Find the principal value of cos inverse minus alpha. Before we go to this, first let me summarize all the basics. We will do this problem. First we will become thorough with the pro basics. Basic number 1, sin inverse of minus x is always what? Minus sin inverse x. If you have insert minus, you can take it out. Similarly, similarly, when you take cos inverse of minus x, cos inverse of minus x is not minus cos inverse x because the range of cos inverse x is always positive. Cos inverse of minus x is pi minus cos inverse x. Very, 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 very important. And tan inverse of minus x, tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse x. But when you take secant inverse of minus x, secant inverse of minus x is pi minus secant inverse x. And cosecant inverse of minus x, cosecant inverse of minus x is pi minus cosecant inverse, sorry, cosecant inverse of, cosecant inverse of minus x is minus cosecant inverse x, you can take minus out. But cot inverse of minus x, cot inverse of minus x, pi minus cot inverse x. So remember for sine for sine it's reciprocal cosecant and tan for these three things if minus is inside you can put outside sine inverse of minus x minus sine inverse x tan inverse of minus x minus tan inverse x cosecant inverse of minus x minus cosecant inverse x but if cos inverse of minus x if you have cos inverse of minus x cos inverse of minus x is pi minus cos inverse x and reciprocal of cos, secant inverse of minus x is pi minus secant inverse x. And cot inverse of minus x is pi minus cot inverse x. So, these are the very, very important results. And when you are solving problems, first you should make use of this formula and then you should go ahead. So, please make a note of all these things. So, what are the three things? Sin inverse of minus x, minus comes out. Tan inverse, minus comes out. Cot inverse, sorry. Cosecant inverse minus comes out. So, this 3 in 1 sin inverse of minus x and its reciprocal cosecant inverse of minus x and tan inverse of minus x. For these 3, you can write minus outside minus sin inverse x minus cosecant inverse x minus tan inverse x minus is inside you can put outside but for the other three functions but for the other three functions that is cos inverse of minus x answer is pi minus cos inverse x remember this and secant inverse of minus x pi minus secant inverse x reciprocal and but cot inverse of minus x is pi minus cot inverse x why because you know domain and range so, what is the range for cot inverse x? Range for cot inverse x is 0 to pi open interval. You will not get negative value. So, this cos inversal minus is pi minus to hold back. Secant inversal minus is pi minus to hold back. Cot inversal minus is pi minus. For three things, we will get minus out. But for these three things, we will have pi minus. Without fail, first memorize and become thorough with the basics. Then the problems becomes easier and simpler. When basics are not strong, you will struggle while solving the problems. You will think one one problem is having one one method. So, but every problem without basic you cannot solve. What is sin inverse of minus x? Minus comes out. Minus sin inverse x. Cosecant inverse of minus x? Minus cosecant inverse x. Tan inverse of minus x? Minus tan inverse x. But if you take cos inverse of minus x, pi minus cos inverse x. Secant inverse of minus x, pi minus secant inverse x. And cot inverse of minus x, pi minus cot inverse x. These are the three results. So, please memorize them. Become thorough. Then we will go ahead with the problems. Then, 
other important thing angle table all of you know angle table this is one more basic what you have learned what is the angle table you have learned sin theta cos theta tan theta what is standard value 0 degree is 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree sin 0 is 0 sin 30 half sin 45 1 by root 2 sin 60 root 3 by 2 sin 90 1 cos 0 1 30 root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 0 and this will become 0 by 1 is 0 and this will become 1 by root 3 this will become 1 this is root 3 and this is infinity so these are the values so sin cos tan so standard angles you should know to solve the problems so these are these are the basics what i wrote and first become thorough with these basics then we can solve the problems now to start now to start with the problem first i'll take simple problem so if i take cos inverse root 3 by 2 suppose if i want to find the value of this first step is we'll take theta is equal to cos inverse root 3 by 2 then transfer cos inverse to this set so it will become cos theta is root 3 by 2 now see the table in cos cos what gives you root 3 by 2 cos 30 gives you root 3 by 2 so theta is what 30 degrees 30 degrees means what pi by 6 and theta means what cos inverse root 3 so cos inverse root 3 by 2 is equal to what pi by 6 this is the method so now do we need to do all the steps not required directly in the table where you will get the value if you write that is enough so for that first my request to all of you is become thorough with the table what is the table so sin theta cos theta tan theta 0 30 45 60 90 0 half root 3 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 1 root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 0 0 1 by root 3 1 root 3 infinity not defined so these are the values first you should become thorough and using the table you can solve the problems and you know pi means what 180 degrees pi by 2 90 degrees pi by 3 so this is pi by 6 this is pi by 4 this is pi by 3 all of them this is pi by 2 now they wanted to find the principal value of this simple they gave cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 i told you cos inverse of minus x first recollect the formula what is cos inverse of minus x we have learned cos inverse of minus x is pi minus cos inverse x so cos inverse of minus half can be written as pi minus cos inverse half further we have to take this as theta but this is a standard angle directly pi minus cos inverse half means in cos table where you will get half so in cos table you will get half at what 60 degrees 60 degrees is also called as pi by 3 so pi minus 60 degrees that is pi by 3 cos inverse half means in cos table where you will get half in cos table where you are getting half at 60 60 is also called as what pi by 3 so pi minus pi by 3 what is the lcm 3 3 pi minus pi finally we will get 2 pi by 3 this is the answer so we found out the value of cos inverse minus half first we should write cos inverse of minus x can be written as pi minus cos inverse x cos inverse of minus half i will write pi minus cos inverse half then in cos table where you will get half at 60 60 means pi by 3 so take lcm you will get 2 pi by 3 going ahead find the principal value of cosecant inverse minus x i told you recollect all the formulae sin inverse of minus x minus sin inverse x cosecant inverse of minus x minus cosecant inverse x tan inverse of minus x minus tan inverse x so this is cosecant inverse so cosecant inverse of minus x all of you know cosecant inverse of minus x is minus cosecant inverse x now first first i'll write cosecant inverse of minus x they wanted to find the principal value minus root 2 can i write it as minus cosecant inverse root 2 further just now we learned cosecant inverse can be written as 
cosecant inverse x can be written as sin inverse 1 by x. So, this is cosecant inverse root 2. Can I write it as outside minus as it is sin inverse 1 by root 2? Further, sin inverse 1 by root 2 means sin table where you will get 1 by root 2. In sin table, we will get 1 by root 2 at pi by 4. So, sin 45 is 1 by root 2. So, 1 by root 2 comes at 45. So, minus pi by 4 is the answer. Cosecant inverse x we have. You can write sin inverse 1 by x. So, we use these two formula. So, cosecant inverse minus x is minus cosecant inverse x. And cosecant inverse x can be written as sin inverse 1 by x. Since if you want to write cosecant in terms of sin, take reciprocal. And sin theta, if it is 45, sorry, sin inverse 1 by root 2 means in sin table where you will get 1 by root 2. You will get 1 by root 2 at what? Pi by 4. I told you, you can take theta and derive it. For one mark, don't waste so much of time. Directly, you can write it at a standard angle. Let's find the principal value of cot inverse minus x. All of you know, for cos, cot and secant, minus it is, if it is minus, we should take pi minus. So, we learned that cot inverse of minus x. What is cot inverse of minus x? Pi minus cot inverse x. So, I will take this problem, I will take this as theta. Theta is equal to cot inverse of minus 1 by root 3. Further, I can write it as pi minus cot inverse 1 by root 3. In cot table, where you will get 1 by root 3? In cot table, or convert it into tan, all of you know. So, initially you should not convert because negative value is there. So, cot inverse cannot be negative. So, first you should do this. Then, now you can convert. I can write it as tan inverse of root 3. So, pi minus tan inverse root 3. In tan table, where you will get root 3? Tan 60 is root 3. 60 means what? Pi by 3. Take LCM. 3, 3 pi minus pi. So, it will become 2 pi by 3. This is the correct method and you will get this. Wrong method. What people will do? Generally, what mistakes students will do? So, these are the mistakes you are not supposed to go like this means what they will do cot inverse minus 1 by root 3. What they will do? They will take tan inverse minus root 3. They will take reciprocal. You know cot inverse x can be written as tan inverse minus 1 by x they can write. And further what they will do? Further what they will do? They will say by tan inverse of minus x you can take minus outside. Then it will become tan inverse root 3. In tan table where you will get root 3? That is at 60. 60 means what? Pi by 3 minus pi by 3. See, this is correct answer, but we are getting this. This is the wrong method. That's why, well, learning tan inverse x and this becomes if and only if x is positive. Very important. Tan inverse x can be written as cot inverse 1 by x or cot inverse x can be written as tan inverse 1 by x when x is positive. Remember this condition. So, this is a wrong method. Why wrong method? You cannot take cot inverse 1 by x as tan inverse x if x is negative. So, cot inverse 1 by x, you can write it as tan inverse x, if and only if x is greater than 0, remember this. Okay, forget it. So, now what is the original method? If cot inverse is negative, first you should write pi minus cot inverse x, then cot inverse x can be written as tan inverse 1 by x, 1 by root 3 becomes root 3, in tan table where you will get root 3 at 60, 60 means pi by 3, pi minus pi by 3, if you simplify, you will get 2 pi by 3. I hope all of you understood this. Now, Next we have, find the value of sin inverse of sin 2 pi by 3. See, simple technique. See, if you are confused with what is 2 pi by 3, simplify 2 pi by 3. 2 pi by 3. Means what? 2, 180 by 3. 2, 60, 120. See, we learned sin inverse of sin theta becomes theta if theta lies between z minus 90 and plus 90. Sin inverse of sin theta, I can write it as theta. Theta and bari bodhi, yavaga. If theta lies between minus 90 and plus 90, theta lies between what? Minus 90 degrees and plus 90 degrees. Yes, you are right. You can write like this. But here, how much we have? 120 degrees. So, sin inverse of sin theta becomes, it is not just 2 pi by 3. So, therefore, we have to simplify using allied angles. That's why when I started the class, I took allied angles. Now, coming to this, sin inverse of, sin of, see numerator is 1 less than denominator. Numerator is what? 1 less than denominator. So, if that is the case, you can write pi minus pi by 3. 
If numerator is one less, blindly you can write like this. Check. What is pi minus pi by three? Take LCM. LCM is three. Three pi minus pi. It is two pi by three. So can you write like this? How to remember? If denominator is more, one more, or numerator is another one kadam hai thera, then pi minus pi by three is very good. For example, if I give pi 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 by six, you can write it was pi minus pi by six. Remove this part for pi minus. Because numerator is one less means you can write pi minus. Now tell me what is six pi by seven? You can write it as pi minus pi by seven. Very interesting. Otherwise, you have to convert it into angle and waste your time. That is sine inverse of denominator sine as it is. If I take this, can be written as pi minus pi by three. Do you agree? Pi means what? One eighty. Sine of one eighty minus theta. All of you know sine of one eighty minus theta is sine theta because one eighty minus theta lies in which quadrant? So this is ninety degrees. This is one eighty degrees. One eighty minus theta lies in which quadrant? It is in second quadrant. In second quadrant, what is alpha? But yes. So sine of one eighty minus theta is sine theta. So I can write sine inverse of sine of sine of one eighty minus theta is sine theta. Theta is what pi by three. Sine of one eighty pi means one eighty. Sine of one eighty minus theta is sine theta. Now pi by three. What is meant by pi by three? Pi by three means what? One eighty by three. That is sixty degrees. So sixty degrees lies between minus ninety and plus ninety. So sine inverse of sine theta becomes theta. Sine inverse of sine pi by three is just pi by three. Since pi by three lies between, so this is the answer. First they gave, they asked you to find sine inverse of sine two pi by three. Numerator one kadam hai that. So whenever numerator is one less, you can write it as pi minus pi by three. And when you see it is sine of one eighty minus theta, sine of one eighty minus theta is sine theta because one eighty minus theta function does not change. You know rules of right angle, and it lies in second quadrant. So in second quadrant sine is positive. So sine of one eighty minus theta becomes sine theta. In the place of theta we have pi by three. Pi by three means what? Sixty. So sine inverse of sine sixty becomes sixty. Or sine of sine inverse of sine pi by three becomes pi by three. Next, find the value of three pi by four. First we'll see that three pi by four lies or not. So you know, I told you I am repeating sine inverse of sine theta. You can write theta if and only if theta is between what minus ninety degrees and plus ninety degrees. So now three pi by four. What is meant by three pi by four? Three into one eighty by four. Three into forty five. Three into forty five is one twenty five, which is greater than ninety. So they gave three pi by four. Three pi by four does not lie between minus ninety plus ninety. It is more than ninety. So what I can do, I can rewrite this as tan inverse of sine of. Sorry, here oh, I'm sorry. Here inside we have sine, but outside we have tan. So we'll see how to convert it later. Now we'll directly find the value of it. So can I write sine of one less numerator is one less. Again, you can write it as what? Pi minus pi by four. I told you, if it's one less, you can write pi minus pi by four. Sine inverse of sine of one eighty minus theta is sine theta, sine pi by four. You know further what is sine pi by four? Sine pi by four means sine forty five. Sine pi by four, sine pi by four is what? Sine forty five degrees. What is sine forty five degrees? One by root two. So we we'll have tan inverse of one by root. Two. This is the answer. Here I have tan inverse one by root two. One by root two is not a standard value. It's say in tan table you will not get one by root two. In tan table we'll get zero. We'll get one by root three. We'll get root three. We'll get not different. So but here it is one by root three. One by root two. So leave it. So three pi by four can be written as what? Pi minus pi by four and simplify. One eighty minus theta. One eighty minus theta is what? Sine theta. Now further we cannot simplify. Sine pi by four is one by root two. Tan inverse one by root two. It's not a standard value. So leave it. Then find the value of cos inverse of cos seven pi by six. See numerator is one more. See if numerator is one more, you can write pi plus. So or make a note of this. Make a note of this. If I have n by n plus one pi, two cases, two cases I'll take you. So the process becomes faster. N by n plus one times pi if it is means numerator is one less. Then you can write it as pi minus pi by n plus one minus baratha. Our numerator is one more than denominator. Then write it as pi plus 
pi by n pi plus pi by n this is one more means you write pi plus the remaining part pi by 4 this is one less this is n plus 1 this is n so you write it as pi minus numerator 1 kadama idra pi minus numerator 1 more pi plus if you take LCM you will get same now numerator is 1 more so you can write pi plus so I cos inverse of cos of 7 pi by 6 first we will say what is 7 pi by 6 what is 7 pi by 6 7 times pi by 6 pi by 6 means all of you know 30 7 30 means 210 degrees 210 degrees is greater than 180 so all of you know cos inverse of cos theta I can write it as theta cos inverse of theta cos theta becomes theta if theta should lie between what 0 and pi or theta should lie between what 0 and 180 degree but they have given 210 210 is more than 180 I cannot write cos inverse of cos theta as theta here theta is more than 180 so further can I use allied angle can I write it as cos inverse of cos of pi plus pi by 6 pi means what 180 so you know allied angle 180 plus theta 180 plus theta is in third quadrant what is the alphabet here t t means what only tan is positive tan and cot is positive but your question is cos so cos will become negative so cos inverse of minus cos pi by 6 i'm repeating we have a situation called cos of 180 plus theta tell me what is cos of 180 plus theta for 180 function does not change cos will be cos but 180 plus theta lies in third quadrant t becomes what uh, the question if it is tan it will be positive but your question is cos so it will become minus minus cos theta similarly cos of 180 plus theta is minus cos theta cos of 180 plus pi by 6 minus cos pi by 6 and you know one more cos inverse of minus x cos inverse of minus x i taught you cos inverse of minus x i know what is cos inverse of minus x pi minus cos inverse x pi minus cos inverse so it will become pi minus cos inverse of cos pi by 6 understood this here we have cos inverse negative cos inverse of minus x is not minus cos inverse x cos inverse of minus x is what pi minus cos inverse x now this x value this is pi by 6 pi by 6 means 30 cos inverse of cos theta becomes theta if theta is between 0 and 180 30 is between 0 and 180 so pi minus will be as it is cos inverse of cos theta becomes theta theta means what pi by 6 answer is pi minus pi by 6 take lcm 6 6 pi minus pi 6 pi minus pi is what pi pi by 6 answer is 5 pi by 6 are able to follow here we used allied angles what is cos of 180 plus theta minus cos theta then we used sin cos inverse of minus x cos inverse of minus x can be written as pi minus cos inverse x cos inverse of cos theta becomes what theta means pi by 6 because pi by 6 lies between 0 and pi cos inverse of cos theta becomes theta if theta lies between 0 and pi i am asking all of you to revise allied angles and the problems what we have done today this session please recollect please take the problems and do once again and become thorough in my next session i'll continue with some more problems of the same kind problems based on domain and range and we'll also discuss some important concepts called writing the problem or reducing the given problem to simplest form in tomorrow's class i'll be teaching you reducing the problem to simplest form today we have done problems based on domain and range and where we have also simplified the problems using allied angles and also reciprocal relations dear students i'm repeating please revise allied angles and go through the problems what we have done today and attend my next session thanks for attending my session i'll see you in my next class thank you